Oh, it's recording. Okay, okay. If the journey of collecting video games could be named a movie, it would have to be the never-ending story because it never stops. Just recently, my buddy Kyle came to visit me. My friend Kyle, if you watch the old episodes, he's the one who helped Ricky and I find a GameCube kiosk for 50 bucks. Everything works. The lights light up, the signs light up, the GameCube ports work, the fans work. It's just pretty ridiculous. Good job, Kyle. Find you, nice. <laughs> Kyle found this for us, by the way. So. How's it going, Kyle? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. That same Kyle lives in a different area now. He was like, I'm coming down to visit you, and I have a few little gifts to give you. Uh, yeah, a few little gifts, Kyle. A few little gifts. Let's see those few little gifts. And I'm going to have something in there that absolutely, positively blew my mind. And I think it's going to blow yours, too. Starting right off with a bunch of loose Genesis games he gave me. Yes, I only think I had like two or three of these. Greatest heavyweights on the Sega Genesis. NFL Football 94, possibly one of my favorite football games of all time, honestly. Joe Montana Football. This is probably the most seen Genesis loose game you'll see out there. One of the most. Honestly, if you're game hunting, you see this everywhere. X Mutants, which honestly, guys, I thought this was like an actual X-Men video game. It's not. And apparently, this has like its own comic book series and everything. This was all new information to me. I found that out watching Gaming Off The Grid. Someone in the comments mentioned this. Yeah. Speaking of X-Men, X-Men 2. I don't think I have this. I think I have the case for this somewhere back there, but I didn't have the actual game. Altered Beast, a classic of classics on the Sega Genesis. Maybe the most classic next to Sonic the Hedgehog. Toy Story was in the group of loose cartridges. Yeah, Toy Story was a game I watched Andy play quite a bit as a kid. He was always good at the game. I was always absolutely terrible at Toy Story, the video game. But Sonic 2, this is Sonic 2, correct? This was in there as well. That completes the loose the Lucy, just kidding, I lied, I just looked down. Road Rash, one of the more rented ones in my house when I was a kid. This was a, a oldest brother would play this a lot. My mom thought it was like slightly violent, but not super violent. So it was right there in the middle. I was the youngest kid. I probably shouldn't have been playing the game. Game Genie, got a Game Genie. Game Genie for the Genesis, never used it in my entire life. Only really used the Game Genie for original Nintendo. That was really the only time. But thank you, Kyle. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loose games. Wait till you see what's next. I'm not joking. I don't know where the other game is that he gave me. Well, I gotta find it. It's somewhere in here. Castlevania Bloodlines. Yeah, he gave me Castlevania Bloodlines, one of the greatest games on the Sega Genesis and one of the more pricey games on the Sega Genesis, a fantastic game, a beautiful game. Guys, I honestly, I don't know where I put it. It's in this room, okay? And this room is very clean and organized. I know I was just showing it to somebody, so I probably set it down somewhere on, on my desk and I don't even know. Wow, nice, nice. He also gave me four other box games, mostly sports games. FIFA International Soccer, I didn't even know FIFA was a thing back then. Super Volleyball, Tommy Lasorda Baseball, and Monopoly. This one's cool. I, I've always liked the Monopoly case, the way it looks. Why? Because I'm a Monopoly guy. Is that, was that their theme song? I don't even know, but I definitely liked Monopoly. So there's four games boxed right here. Where the heck is my bloodlines? That's all I can think about, son of a gun. Next thing he gave me is kind of funny because I have a few Sega Genesis's, but I don't have the Model 1 Sega Genesis. I don't have this one. I don't know why. I have all Model 2's. So this is awesome, but I have to admit, have to admit, a friend of mine just recently got into collecting. I might be giving this to him because he's starting to get into collecting, wants some Sega Genesis stuff, and I'm like, hey bro, I might be able to hook you up with this, so I'd rather, you know, pass along the love and give it to someone than just to be able to say, hey, I have a Model 1, so I can find a Model 1 another time. I think this is going to my buddy. Sega Sports Pad for the Sega Master System. You don't really see this out too much, or at least I don't while game hunting. This is for, like I said, the Sega Master System. This is uh, for some of the more trackball style games. What games did you play on this? Golf, I'm guessing? I always picture Golden Tee when I play. Nice on. Next, he gave me some Genesis controllers, which are great, which work well, which work really good. I tested them out. 
Again, I might be giving these to my friend as well, but he also gave me this baggie full of like instruction manuals and things like that. But some really cool booklets in here that I like, especially there's one that I really liked called Sega Gear because this stuff is some Fuego stuff. This is the kind of stuff with authentic, original, old school Sega gear. My gosh, if you got your hands on a lot of this swag nowadays, you would be the Gucci of Gucci just dripping with Sega swag because that's some beautiful stuff oh, from Sega. My gosh, there's a lot of stuff I would love to have in there. But coolest thing he gave me, by far and large, in my opinion, is this. 1989 Mario Nintendo Ice Capades, Mario on Ice, watch. I have not done any research on this yet, but it is in beautiful condition. It does say 1989 Nintendo of America Ice Capades. Tom Scallon presents the 1989 Ice Capades. My goodness, Mario on the cover. I do know without doing research, a lot of times I like to give you guys things as I know without acting like I know more than I really do. I know I've seen Mario on ice things on YouTube before, so I'm guessing it's from that. I will obviously be playing the footage if I can find the footage of what it actually is right now in front of you guys. But this is beautiful. You know, you know watches are a thing on the show. Ricky and I have always kind of talked about watches, kind of been into the whole thing with collecting video game style watches. So cool, when I saw this, I was like, dude, are you sure? Are you sure? Because this is like cool beyond cool for me. Something I very, very much love. And what's really funny, he gave me two. He gave me the option to keep these. I'll probably give one to Ricky. Although he never hooked me up with the Genesis speakers, but I think I'll be cool enough because I know Ricky loves watches as well. This one's in the baggie still. Two Mario on ice, ice capades, 1989, good grief watches, coolest of cool. Thank you so much, Kyle. Mother of mercy, mother of Teresa. Mother of Teresa? No, it's Mother Teresa. Thank you so much for the cool stuff. Honestly, good majuji. I didn't deserve any of this, if I'm honest. I love you. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Found it. Found Bloodlines. It was literally on the floor right below me, just underneath one of the other games that I didn't see. Bloodlines, there it is, proof. Found it. I don't know if this is like a good luck month for me or something, but these companies keep sending me cool products that I actually want to try. I've probably rejected like six things this month, and I've had like four things that I really wanted to try. It looks like Fafine or Fifine sent me a USB microphone because the leader in the game pretty much is the Blue Yeti. If you're a content creator, you know that's the easiest plug and play. Pretty much every content creator buys it because it's budget friendly and it's literally plug and play. So this one, let's hope, let's hope is good. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna do a test with it to see the way it sounds. This, and I'm also gonna check out the Blue Yeti side by side. It's gonna be quick guys. These are plug and play. I don't like to waste your time. This is cheap. This is like between 50 and 100 bucks and I think closer to the 50 bucks. Let's try it out. It looks just like the Blue Yeti, by the way. Almost exactly. Maybe a little sleeker. Maybe a little sleeker in my honest opinion. Let me try it. Here comes some audio tests. Hello, this is a test for the Blue Yeti, the microphone that I already have that many people use. Let's check it out. Here is me talking on the new Fafine microphone, or the Fifine. Not really sure how it's pronounced. Sometimes in videos, I prefer to talk like this, as it sounds just a little extra edgy. When I talk, this is about the average volume that I speak, so now I'm gonna go back and listen to it and see how it sounds to me. All right, my friends, let's see what I thought. All right, just went back and listened to both microphones. Honestly, they both sound really good. I don't really have any complaints about either. If I have to be honest, it sounds just almost exactly the same as the Yeti USB microphone to me. Anytime you have audio that records pretty well like this, generally just plugging in, you normally make some tiny adjustments inside of whatever program you're using inside of Final Cut, like a filter, something like that. So just raw, the way they sound, I don't really have one that I think I prefer over the other. I guess you can go to price if you want to look at that. The USB Yeti microphone ranges from 100 to 150 bucks, kind of fluctuates 
throughout the years. It's been around for a while. It goes back and forth. I thought this fine new one that I checked out was closer to like 100 bucks. It's $59 on Amazon and I thought maybe this was like something that nobody had really been purchasing. Guys, it has 3,075 reviews at four and a half, almost five stars on Amazon. So I guess I'm not alone in my presumption that this thing sounds just as good in my personal opinion. I'm not an audiophile, but in my personal opinion with some good high professional quality headphones on, listening to them back, they sound just as good. Honestly, buy the Fafine and I don't get anything if you do anything get nothing from these ever. They give me the product, that's it. I never really talk to these people again. So if it were me and I were starting out and the difference is 60 bucks or double the price for something that almost looks exactly the same and sounds exactly the same, I'd go with the fine. It's pretty fine. All right, that's it. If you're looking to do some stuff on YouTube or anything like that, yeah, podcasts, I'd say go with that. 60 bucks, can't really beat that. Sounds good. Plug and play, no instructions needed. Plug in, plug in, record, go. That was it. Just uh, just randomly met up with Gabo for lunch and he was like, hey, I have a birthday present for you. My birthday is coming, I don't know when the video went out, March 13th. What's up, bro? What's up? Dogginess. I didn't know you had a gift for me. Yeah, your birthday is when? 13? March 13th. What day is today? Four? Fourth, March 4th. I don't care, I don't like to wait. I don't know if I ever told you that. I was hunting yesterday and I saw this and I say, well, stupid reef for birthday is coming soon, and you know, I'm the giver, so I bought something for you. Thank you. I think you will like it. He got a couple of things that is you. Ooh, okay. Okay, first. Okay, first. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey! Second, a toy. A toy! And third, America. Ooh, America, that's my favorite thing of all. Oh my God, wait, you sent me the picture of this. Yeah. Wow. Well, you never, you never reply, so I guess whatever. Honestly, when you sent me this, yeah, pretty. Uh, my heart was kind of beating when I saw this. So this oh, is you're, Jim, you're a Jim, liar. Jim Carrey from Kick Astronaut Two. One of the probably my only top superhero type movies because I'm not a big superhero. It's movie a player. really awesome movie, and his character is amazing. His character is oh. awesome. Is the price over there? Oh, whatever. Oh, I, I didn't even see it. I really didn't see it. This well, is awesome. Show it to dude. the board. Some of my favorite clips, actually, I'll put in one of my favorite clips right now. Them boys designed a very tasty logo. Spots. I put this in a video recently, too. I can't really? remember where. Yeah, Jim Carrey fighting. I have to remember what video I did. Probably Nicolas Cage's best performance, too. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. I You're welcome. It. Hugginess. Hugginess. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Slapping ass. I kind of had a hurt neck last week, bro. You got to be careful with me. My knees bust. Ness. Whatever Ness. Hey bro, I'm gonna cancel you, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. Cancel culture is the sc <laughs> Don't cancel. We are living in America. America. You know that song? Living it's wonder in America. No. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonder war. We are living in America. Now you have a birthday present. Get out of my face, you.